Mr. Stowling. Oh, Detective, I was just... Please, I eagerly await to hear what reason you give for being in the storage room at this hour. A butler's job is never... I am no fool, Monsieur. You have spun enough stories this weekend. Honestly, Detective, you don't trust anyone. And with good reason. I've been thinking about my time with the family. I often think on fond memories, but it does not take me to a storage room in the middle of the night. There are many memories held within these walls. I just wanted to see them again. I didn't realize the noise I was making. Obviously. Were you preoccupied looking for another of the Major's medals? Of course not. I already explained. No, monsieur. You attempted to dupe me again into believing one of your stories. Please, detective. I know you know how it ended up in my possession. I was just trying to get some extra money together to send home. I can't lose this job. If Lady Van den Bosch found out... Theft of a medal would be the very least of your problems. Deceive? I'm sorry that I lied to you about the medal. Would you care to explain the fake telephone call? It was purely for my benefit, no? Why would I fake a telephone call? The same reason that Mademoiselle Rayana dressed in the Major's jacket in the snow. To allow not only the guests, but me, to believe the Major was still alive. I didn't kill him, Detective. I know, Monsieur. But I also know that you helped the one that did to cover their tracks. It wasn't like that. We were just trying to help. She had no part in it. You never let on. How long have you known it was her? Monsieur, I am Detective Hercule Poirot. I only show my hand when I deem it necessary. You will be taking her away then. She will stand trial for what she has done. But you don't know the full story. She is just a servant in this house. If she is arrested, that will be the end for her. If Mademoiselle was only protecting herself, as you both have claimed, she will surely be found innocent. The Major's military storage box. The one that stored his medals. Amongst other things, yes. And those other things are? I had to protect her. If you found it when searching the study, you would have carted her off then and there. Whatever it is you have hidden, it will not remain that way for much longer. I need a moment.
Ah. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. Another success. I never doubted myself. Things are beginning to become clearer. What a revelation! There is no use lying anymore. He always had his regiment lighter that he received in the war on his person. And yet, it was not his regiment emblem that was engraved on it. My father's. It must have fallen out of my pocket. You still have it, detective. Monsieur, you have stashed evidence, manipulated a crime scene, obscured my investigation, and yet it is a lighter that you worry about most? 
If it is my path to end up behind bars for what I have done, so be it. It is Elizabeth that you cannot allow to be locked up without the truth being told. I have heard how you fought for that young maid before Florette, is it? I only ask that you do the same for Elizabeth. Even the secret area that has been created here is not concealed enough to stop Detective Hercule Poirot. I couldn't just leave it at the scene for you to find. The Major was killed by his own knife. The knife that protected his life during the war would eventually be the one that ended it. It was in his holster when he attacked her. He had hold of her arm. What else was she meant to use to get him off of her? She didn't plan any of it, Detective. She was only defending herself. That is what Mademoiselle told you? She did, and I believe her. You think you knew the Major, but you had no idea. He was a monster and had more secrets than all of us combined. That may be true, but that does not excuse what she has done. Put yourself in her shoes for a minute. If a man like that had attacked me the way he did Lizzie, I would have done a lot worse to him. I need a moment. Magnifique. Pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. There is no use lying anymore. When you asked me yesterday about seeing someone out there, I thought the game was up. That does not explain what you were doing out there. When Lizzie took me to the study, the knife was still in the Major's chest, and I knew I had to get rid of it. I dropped it out of the window, knowing no one would be going outside. It was fine for the time being, but I couldn't risk it being found when the snow melted. So you collected it under the cover of darkness and stowed it away in here where you thought no one would find it. After your questioning in the pantry, I knew you were on to something, and I couldn't leave it here. And where did you plan on moving it to? Honestly, I don't know. There is no you. Why what? Why I would risk everything to help Lizzie? Exactement. Because she is family. If you were in that position, you would do the same. I can assure you, monsieur, that I would not. Then perhaps that says something about you, detective. I would do anything for her. For any of my staff. Even if it means crossing the boundaries of the law? Without question. I 
detective. But please, you have to help Lizzie. It was all an accident. She doesn't deserve to spend the rest of her days behind bars because of that man. If she is put behind bars, it is because that is what the courts have decided upon. Detective, you can't be so cruel. It is not cruelty, monsieur. It is the law. Some would say a lucky guess, I would say a moment of genius. What a revelation! Another success. I never doubted myself. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Things are beginning to become clearer. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. <laughs> 